All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back on Thursday here at the morning meeting here at Cybertrain University. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Daryl, Lewis, JJ, Doug, Philip. All right, guys, uh, before we get started, um, I hate doing this, but it, it, I hate doing it. Just It's just a terrible tragedy just happened yesterday, and I think we all should take the, a moment in time to appreciate you know our children and our kids and um and the and the families and do a quick moment of silence uh for all the uh, all the the 17 people that passed away um regarding about the high school shooting regarding yesterday so let's just uh let's just bow our heads for a second and prayer for them and before we get started and go to work Thank you. All right, guys. So let's get uh, let's go look what's going on and see what's happening in the market. I know uh, yesterday we just finished our class, uh, our phase three class, and went very, very well. So whoever couldn't have made it, uh, we had some great ups, we had great downs, we saw some good pops yesterday. We saw how to be aggressive. We learned a lot about shakes. Um, we learned a lot about you know level levels of stocks and entries and exits. So if you guys get a chance, um, all the gold, platinum, and diamond students, uh, we, had, we had a great pack class yesterday, but um, I know not everyone could always make it regarding about, that's why we do the classes every day. You know, we do them the way we do them, and we record them for your convenience. So um, definitely get an opportunity to review it. And if you want to watch those recordings, um, they you know to watch them over again especially if you're a beginner and have done it the first times i'm telling you when you watch it's like a great movie and uh you know one of the big things you always kind of tell everybody to do is always take notes on certain times of when those great clips the things that you were really confused about that you could focus on a little bit more and then you could always being a student you could always follow up with us on your questions then in the meantime regarding what happened yesterday on some stocks that traded we did have a couple of good ones tev um uh, TVA was a nice little moving stock right there. Had a great, great pop right out of uh, right out of the gate. Uh, you could see it. Had, I guess had the earnings. You know, seeing something in a close, but really, really strong. On add that stock back on the watch list. But it had a great push from nine o'clock all the way to the close. It went from like eighteen fifty up to nineteen fifty, up a buck. And I don't know if that had anything to do about the market being up, but overall, it was a good, good stock to move. And obviously, everything we everything we touched yesterday did great. U.S. Steel making another good pop again, which I'm going to throw that back on the watch list again. That one did well. ZN, uh, pretty weird shake going into the afternoon, though. Uh, we were watching that stock trading it. And let me tell you, one of the biggest things we learned from that stock, guys, is the it broke. It didn't break a higher high. And uh, the, we learned a lot on the Fausto flag on that one. Fossil was another one that we did great yesterday. Stock just came from nowhere. Just pop right in the middle of the day, had that great pop. Uh, but overall, you could see it. We watched that too going into the close, and um, you know you could see it was breaking lower lows, and that was another one. We got we we, we did a couple of really good afternoon trades because one thing we I think we learned a lot yesterday is watching not to just you know you got to hold going into the close, and then also there's that 3:30 time frame, and we saw what would happen if the stock didn't have a push. You know, and those orders don't get filled. You could see how program trading kicks in. So we learned a lot about that. And Twilio, T W L O, one of our old favorites, came out of nowhere. We did great in the morning on that move. That was awesome too. So those are basically that was in the AM. Now, regarding about what's happening this morning, looks like we're going to have another big open today. And uh, looks like I don't know, maybe this is. It looks like we're going to definitely go past twenty five thousand on the Dow. So there's a lot of stocks that are doing pretty well. Um, I might consider, you know, being this little trend that's going on, um, I might I might want to start going long. I'll keep an eye on it. Remember, I don't have a problem chasing the market as long as I'm on the right side. You can't always try to, you know, try to hit the bottom and try to focus, oh, this is the bottom, this is the bottom. That's how you get in trouble. Listen, you make more money, you know, uh, making a little money is great. Losing a lot of money puts you out of business. So there are a couple of good stocks I want to keep an eye on. Obviously, the TEVA, we're going to keep an eye on it. And as I was working through my scanner this morning, let me tell you, there's a couple of good other good stocks out there. MBRX, I don't know if you guys saw this one. This one came out of the gate out of nowhere of 48%, a half million shares. Um, you could have bought it this morning. Hold on, let me... Um, you fix my time frame in here. 
is my one minute chart. All right, so you can see that stock just like took a nice little pop right there, 220 at 270. This was a nine dollar stock not too long ago. Nice little good stock right there. Looks like it's the biggest percentage gainer on the Nasdaq. AMAG is another one that I found this morning. Uh, another one that's gapping up pretty nicely, 18 percent, 400,000 shares. But remember, guys, what do you notice about this stock? It's a five cent spread. So remember, you got to know how to scalp. And we did a great scalp yesterday, and we made a lot of money on it. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people learned a lot from it. And this could be look like one of those. Uh, where are we? Okay, OMER is another one I found this morning. This one is up pretty nicely, but she's on a downtrend. I mean, she was up huge, and then all of a sudden she's starting to break down a lot. Uh, you could see it's been having a hell of a roller coaster on the on the long term chart right here. But there is great support and resistance levels on that one's breaking lower lows, so it's definitely not look like it's going to be a long. The X we already know about that one we already added on to the watch list. Um, I didn't really see anything on the Nasdaq loser. You know, there was a stock that we, we watched uh, take a big hit, which was the INPX trade. That one you could see on a long-term chart. This thing just was like getting decimated. Um, it's down 23% right now. And uh, I don't know if it's a pharmaceutical stock, but if it is, I would be really careful of that. Uh, a couple of brand names made the big losers list. Uh, NTAP, NetApps. That one's taking a little bit of a hit right here. You can see it down about 11%, about $7. Stock's been having a nice little rally, but it's not doing too well right now. That one you could see as a short. I'm going to hop over here on the New York Stock Exchange and see what was going on there. I didn't see a lot on the New York. Um, some of you do remember the stock DPW. I spelled it wrong. DPW. That one, um, for some of you remember, this stock went from a dollar all the way to five dollars. That was at uh, going into December, and uh, she's up a little bit. I want to keep an eye on that because if you go back to your journals and check it out, I think we did really, really well with that stock. That one's not terrible. Uh, losers list. I mean, on the New York, you got a couple of the ETFs that are now starting to big make big re reversals. And remember, you have to be a little bit more of a level three trader here at Cybertree University. You can see this one's uh, um, ProShares Trust, the uh, UVXY. That one's starting to trend down. So, I mean, listen, one thing that we've learned the last couple of days, um, actually the past two weeks almost, well, with this crazy market that's going on, is that when you stick with one stock, you learn its personality. And, you know, I love what Andre always said. You know, you kind of like, it's like dancing with someone. Eventually, you know how they step. And with the stocks, when you get, only when you go to, go to second protocol, which is trading these type of stocks, those, you know, you just kind of know the pattern and you just know where to buy it, where to sell it. And most important, guys, just remember, always go out there. And, and we learn this in class. Focus on your limit orders. We talked about it in phase one. We talked about it in phase two. When you deal with that, 80% you, you, of your winnings, um, your trades will be more pro, will be profit. If, when you start journaling, you will see that. You know? But if you keep going out there, market buy, market sell, and you keep getting crushed in this spread, you know, it's going to hurt you down the road because that is a very expensive part of the trade. Like I said earlier, you know, in the past in our classes, you think uh, ticket charge is expensive? Try paying spreads. You know, that's where you're going to get hurt. Uh, regarding about this a uh, ATRS, friend, you know, it's up 14%, 600,000 shares. It's got a nice uh, – it, it doesn't have a really good trend in the middle of the day. But you know what? The stock went from four, took a little bit of it a hit. It's got some support resistance levels. You can see it's testing it right now from pre-market. It's having a tough time breaking it um, right here. You can see it right there, and that's basically where we're hitting. It's go backing off. If we do break out of that uh, 250, and by the way, it's got great high-frequency trades. Look at here on the matrix, great high frequencies. So I want to keep an eye on that. So the ATRS, you know, I'll throw it in there, second protocol. But, guys, it is a good market. Market's moving. Look at some brand names also. If you if you if you if you if you found a nice little partner out there that you're doing well with, but uh, but let's but 
we have some, you know, we all know that we always try to capitalize on the big spikes, you know, the 20, 50, 100% movers. And uh, that's why we're going we're gonna to kind of focus on like the, M, like the MBRX, like the, you know, the, the, not the TripAdvisor, but like the TEVA and OMER and all those. All right. Anything I'm missing? Ken, you're already up eight cents on MR, uh, MBRX in pre-market. Cool. There you go. There's experience at its best. Give him a uh, give him a round of applause. Way to go! All right, guys. So, um, like I said, uh, listen. Today at twelve o'clock, um, we're doing an open house. We're gonna we're expecting it to be one of the uh, a very very great audience that's going to show up. We have a lot of our uh, uh, partners that are helping promote this event for us. So uh, once again, we look forward for you guys to be there. Help us recruit. Remember, I always told you guys when you make a lot of money, you know. Help us go out there, and the only reason why you make a lot of money because you have a great team you're working with. It's not just the education is just to get you through the foundation, you know, but to live in it and feel it and make this a very greatest job in the world, you know, we always got to have a – we have to have a good, a good team, so let's go out there and recruit, all right, and tell them how much money we're making. So I'll see you back at 12 o'clock, and then, like I said, and then we'll see you back at 2.30 uh, for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone. Congrats.